Hey guys, what's up? There's a surety from eGadgets for you. And you know by now, in my previous video, I've shown you the unboxing of this particular Lenovo laptop that I've done with my son. And this particular laptop runs on the image DOS OS. So in this video, I'll show you how you can install Windows 10 or in fact, Windows 11 in your laptop or PC that is running on uh, image DOS OS only. So without further ado, let's get started. So yes guys, as you can see over here, I have this particular laptop over here uh, which runs on MS-DOS and it's a brand new laptop. Uh, if you have followed my videos, you will see that this particular laptop was won by my son uh, from a lucky draw competition in his school. And yes, it came with uh, by default MS-DOS. So yes, I have installed the, the media files for the Windows 10 installation guide over here. And if you want to know how to do it, actually, there is a video dedicated video in my channel. I'll put it in the card section as well. So you can refer to that and you can make a bootable device with Windows 10. So before inserting that, what I'll do is that I will power off this particular laptop at first. And once it's powered off, I will insert uh, this in the USB drive over here. You know, that's inserted and while powering on i have to go to the bias so i have to press the delete key hopefully this is the bias option now as you can see it has detected my bootable device or the pen drive over here actually i did not uh, have to go to the bias at all because once i inserted the pen drive over there with the windows 10 installation files and the bootable device over there it has auto detected it and yes as you can see it's over here so i have to go and select india over here english india over here keyboard input is english india language to install united states english sounds about right let me just zoom in over here so yes it says install now i click on install now and again uh <coughs> let me tell you that i have a dedicated video how to make this windows, uh, windows 10 usb drive bootable device uh, um, so if you want to know how to do it uh, i will put the put that in the card section and also in the description as well you can refer to that video so now as you can see uh, once you're in this particular screen you have to uh, like in the keyboard you have to press shift and f10 the reason being this particular hard disk came with uh, the basic ms dos installed in it and the hard disk is in mbr partition we have to convert it uh, into a uh, GPT partition as well. So now to do that uh, You have to please uh, like uh, press shift f10 and if you have the function keys are accessible by the far fn key over here So you have to press shift fn and then f10. So yes, I have in this particular laptop I have to press shift fn the function key and f10. So yeah So now I have to write this uh, sorry. No. Yeah disk part and hit enter and now I uh, type in list disk so yes as you can see over here the disk zero that uh, has at 237 gigs of uh, storage available over there over there i need to install the windows uh, 10 over here so what i will do is that um, select s-e-l-e-c-t select disk zero and hit enter it says disk zero is now the selected disk and now i have to clean it Please remember if you have anything on this particular SSD, you have to take a backup because this command will clean it. Disk part 30 succeeded in cleaning the disk as you can see over here. Now I will write convert GPT. Disk part has successfully converted the selected disk to GPT format. After that, you just need to write exit, exit from disk part and to exit from the command prompt will be this. So now, since I don't have a product key, I just need to select I don't have a product key. And after that, you need to select the version of Windows you need to install. Select on Windows 10 Pro, click on Next. End of the day, you have to agree to these terms and conditions or else you cannot go ahead. So select I accept the terms and click on Next. And I want to do custom installation always. This is unallocated space as you can see, just select it click on next and now the installation starts over here so yeah let all the files uh, be installed over here windows 10 is installed over there and then i will be back once all this process is finished and yes in the process though your computer may restart also on its own so nothing to worry about there just let it get its thing done now once the installation has been done uh, over here i have to select the region and india is selected by default 
click on yes and the keyboard uh, layout i will select english india yes no skip let's connect it to a network yes this is my network for sure let me go ahead and give me the password over here okay it's connected now hit next now we have some important setups to do let it do its thing and i'll be back very soon okay once the setup is done over there the computer will restart on its own let it restart and do its thing yeah it's restarting just a moment and the hi we are getting everything ready for you so things are shaping up well i can say for sure this might take several minutes don't turn off your pc and yes how do you like to set it up it will be for personal use for sure because this will be used by my son let's add your account now i do have, my, my son does not have an account with microsoft uh, outlook whatsoever so yes i'll go ahead and do create account over here you can skip this step and yeah it's very easy peasy once this particular thing is done i'll come straight to the window screen now before the window screen comes this is very important the privacy settings over here please make sure that you switch off everything over here i don't need any tracking whatsoever from any company so yeah advertising ids and all never 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 so everything is turned off and i accept customize your experience okay so it will be for school a uh, little bit of gaming maybe and uh, photos and videos creativity why not accept use your android phones from your pc no please i don't want it i don't want to back up files in the onedrive and stuff like that only save files to this pc and just a moment now another irritating thing is this cortona i don't need it not now and yes again that hi we are getting everything ready for you that's fine so again it says this might take several minutes do not turn off your pc so i'll be back with the window screen for now for sure okay it says windows stays up to date to help protect you in an online world so yes uh it's actually updating the windows and again i have to manually update it as well it says almost there and yeah as you can see this is the first screen of the windows 10 as you can see over here okay and yes over here for now uh what i need to do is that i will go to this folder i will go to this pc and once i'm over here i will right click in it and go to properties and here is a full information about the system it's an intel celerion n4020 cpu 1.1 gigahertz speed 4 gb of ram 64 bit operating system Mm, blah 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 product id yeah it's not uh, the windows is not activated as you know by now for sure yeah so these are the things that are present in this particular machine and before i use anything else what i need to do is that i have to go to windows update just type windows update settings yeah and now check for updates this is the first and foremost thing that i need to do because uh what happens is that when all the updates are installed and it's up to date over here all the drivers of your laptop or your pc are actually updated on its own so this is the advantage of using windows 10 or for windows 11 as well hope so this video was helpful if you liked it consider liking and sharing with your friends and families and by now you know that how you can actually install windows in your uh, laptop or your PC that runs on the MS DOS OS. So, yeah, while we are at it, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on the notification bell. Very soon, a lot of interesting updates are coming to my channel. That will be it, guys, for this particular video. Bye for now.